So this is a video I'm going to show you how to begin painting your animal. Remember that your animal can have a realistic color and painting like this one uh, with several colors or you can go with just plain white or just one color. If you are going to do one solid color, you can buy acrylic paint pretty much anywhere like Walmart. Um, it looks like this. Usually it's like 97 cents, so it's really cheap. And then you could even get just a couple cheap brushes, maybe varying in size. You don't even need this many. For this video, I am going to go the realistic route with my painting. My supplies, I have water, paintbrush, uh, some of the paint I'm gonna be using. Uh, to blend my paint, I have a paper plate and then paper towel. So I googled images of bowls and usually they're pretty dark color, but I think I'm gonna go with maybe a lighter brown. So I poured some brown paint and white paint and I'm gonna mix it together. I can use a knife um, or I'm just gonna use my brush and I'm just going to, I'm gonna start out with just a little bit of paint, blend it out, see if I like that and then go from there. Okay, so I have kind of this, I don't know what you call this, like almost like a beige taupe color. Um, I'm gonna go with that. I would maybe add in a little bit of yellow to this. And I actually might do that just to give it a little more warmth because it's kind of a cool color. Okay, so I couldn't find my yellow, so I'm just gonna use red instead. Just going to start laying this color down kind of as my base and I'll go over with some detail paint a little bit later and I'm going to be avoiding the eye because I am not finished with the eye yet but just for the sake of this video do everything else. Now I'm going to allow this to dry before I start adding details. It's dry, that's my first layer. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna show you how to create a little bit of shading, kind of the illusion of shading. So I poured a little bit of black paint onto my plate and I'm gonna mix that black paint with a little bit of this leftover color, that base color. Um, so a little bit of that mixed in and what I'm gonna do are all the areas that are kind of shaded on my animal. So areas that would be in shadow, like this right here, I'm just gonna start adding this. This gives your animal a lot more dimension. So it's gonna make it look even more three-dimensional than it is. And I'm just gonna go through kind of creating almost like a gradation, so it's really dark. But then as I go out, it's not quite as strong. I can even add in a little more brown to kind of fade it out a little more. I'm gonna do this on all the shaded areas of my animal. This reminded me of makeup contouring with the darker areas. You can see where I did the shading. Um, I left like the tops of the nostrils kind of light uh, to give the illusion that those are sticking out farther. Next part I'm going to focus on painting is actually a light area. So I'm gonna make these horns a light kind of bone color. So I have some white paint and I'm going to do the same thing that I did like with the black paint, except it's white. So I'm gonna take some of this color that I already had and blend that together. And I might actually try to find my yellow, but I'm gonna have now this really light color. I'm just gonna start applying that here. So I have this painted, but now I need to, maybe I can take a smaller brush, but I need to decide exactly where the horn is going to end, where the skin or the hide starts and where the horn kind of goes underneath. So I'm going to do that right now.
So I was looking at pictures of bowls again, and I really like the lightness of some of them that they have on the front of their face. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna use white paint again, but maybe add a little more brown. And I'm just going to add a little bit of lighter fur up on the face. So not only do I add it on the front of the face, but I start adding it on the cheekbones. So it's kind of like going back to that contouring concept. So I'm gonna make this blend in a little bit better. I'm gonna go back through with some darker tones, uh, but this is a good base to start the highlighting of the lighter areas. Okay, I blended a little bit more in here so it wasn't so harsh of a change. And I'm just gonna keep building this up. So on my animal, I'm probably gonna add some more dark areas on the chest and light areas as well. I have to finish the eyes, uh, but what I want you to do is start deciding on your color, your highlights, and some of those areas that are gonna be in shadow.